to get or not to get? That is the question. And in this episode of Before You Apply, we'll break down the hype, controversy, and stuff you won't find on a website about the ultra luxury American Express Platinum Card. More importantly, what you need to know prior to adding it to your setup. But before we get into all that, hi, I'm Lonnie, and I'm seriously considering getting the American Express Platinum Card. In fact, I may have it by the time you watch this video. Which is why I thought it would be the perfect card for this Before You Apply episode. Even though I've heard a lot of good things, I still have some reservation. Is it a travel card? Yes. Does it have valuable benefits? Subjective to each person, but sure. More importantly, can you get more points and can you justify the annual fee? That's what we're gonna uncover today as we walk through the thought process of a standard travel consumer like myself. Anyway, enough rambling. So before you commit to this customer service loaded, lifestyle centric travel card, let's talk about it. To start, no matter what you've heard others say about it recently, I'm seriously thinking of this card for myself. So this is not a review video. Instead, I plan to provide a cognitive walkthrough, thought processing, and unbiased perspective of the Platinum's benefits to consider. And to do that, I'm gonna break this down into five key parts in which most people consider in a new credit card. And that's the welcome bonus, annual fee, earning and redeeming points, any credits or perks, and insurances and warranties. And as always, I got a little something something extra for y'all, but that's later in the video. Okay, to kick it off, we'll discuss the welcome bonus and annual fee. And in the words of Sir Mickey Mouse himself, oh boy. The MX Platinum Card's annual fee comes in at the low, low price of $695. That was sarcasm, okay? Don't act surprised. If you knew anything about this card, you knew this. Yes, this is one of the highest consumer available annual fees on the market. And the authorized user fee, if you choose to accept it, comes in at $195 per card. There is a $0 companion card option as well with limited benefits. But aside from the high annual fee, this card also comes with high welcome bonuses as well. Actually, a couple of them. Let me explain. The base welcome offer for this card is 80,000 points after you spend $8,000 in the first six months. But you can find better offers than this if you do a little work. This is possible in a few different ways. You could use a friend's referral link, open up an incognito window, or just keep spinning the wheel of tabs and praying for the best. $10,000! With enough due diligence, you could receive an offer as high as 150,000 points or more for that same spend requirement and time frame. But another thing to consider is the Resi website. Resi is a restaurant reservation website, say that three times fast, owned by Amex, where you can at times find exclusive welcome offers. In fact, I recently saw that Resi was offering 100,000 points, a little more than the 80,000, but then you'd also get 10 points per dollar on restaurants worldwide up to $25,000 for the first six months, which personally for me is right up my alley. So make sure to check all your options. Lastly, very important note is that if you're interested in this card and Amex's gold card, you'll want to get the gold card before the platinum because there are some new rules that Amex recently implemented. One, Amex will only allow you to get one welcome bonus for life for both cards. So of course, make sure you get a good one. And two, if you get the platinum card first, you'll no longer be eligible for a welcome bonus on the gold card. So make sure you do your research and plan your applications between these two cards in advance if you're interested in getting the gold card, that is. Okay, on to the next point, the points themselves. The Platinum Card earns American Express membership reward points, which are considered as one of the top tier luxury card reward points on the market. I agree with that. As you know, there's two sides to points. There's the earning side and the redeeming side. Both are important, and you know I'm gonna start with the earning side because it's my favorite, but don't blink or else you'll miss it. Did you miss it? So yeah. This card is not an earning card. It actually just has one bonus category and that's five points per dollar on flights booked directly with airlines or through Amex's travel portal. And this is capped at $500,000 per calendar year. That part won't be an issue for me. But in addition to that, you could also get five points per dollar on prepaid hotels also booked through the Amex travel portal, one point per dollar for all other purchases. And that's all folks. That's all folks. <laughs> 
but don't forget Resi. Remember earlier, if you apply through Resi, you could earn 10X on restaurants for their first six months with the card. Now this offer is active at the time of this recording, so all viewers from my current future, make sure to check whatever your present day offer may be. And while I have you future folks, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you stay in touch and in the know for all future videos. And if you've already subscribed somewhere in the past, thanks, hit that like button for me I appreciate it wherever or whenever you are on the timeline. For all time, always. Okay, enough of that, on to redeeming points. This is also very straightforward as Amex has six primary ways to use your points. As a statement credit, pay with points at checkout like with Amazon, redeem for gift cards for certain merchants, merchandise, Yep, Amex has a shopping catalog where you can use your points for something like headphones, then the ones that we're all aware of towards travel in the Amex travel portal, and lastly, transferring your points out to transfer partners, which is probably the most common and most lucrative. This is because Amex points are valued at two cents per point on average. Now, this is dynamic and mileage can vary but more so because Amex has a vast list of transfer partners of roughly 18 airline partners and three hotel partners, which ain't bad. Hey, go Amex. Moving on, let's get to the quirks, perks, and credits. And forewarning, there's a lot. Get comfortable. Because for $695, this thing better provide something more than just a metal card, right? Well, it does. This is where the coupon book mentality comes in as the Platinum Card provides cardholders a plethora of ways to earn some of that value back from that high annual fee. Let's just get this first one out of the way. Card has lounge access, all right? Cool. I know, some of y'all love this stuff and if you're one of those people, then you're in luck as the Platinum Card provides both priority pass access for you and a companion, but then you'll also get access to Amex's Centurion lounges, which many consider top tier credit card lounges globally. Then there's also Escape lounges, Plaza Premium lounges, Delta Sky Club when flying Delta, and select Lufthansa lounges when flying Lufthansa. Okay, enough of that. Next, the $200 credits. The first of three, yes, three $200 credits, it's a hotel credit, which provides you up to $200 statement credit each year on prepaid hotel collection or fine hotel and resorts collection bookings as long as you book a minimum of a two night stay. The second is the up to $200 yearly airline fee credit. This also comes as a statement credit for certain airline incidental fees when being charged back to a select partner airline of your choice. I say of your choice as you'll have to select this airline at the top of the calendar year. And if you have an incidental purchase like a check bag or an upgrade with that airline, then it'll trigger the credit on your statement. And the third is the $200 Uber cash credit, which can be used for Uber or Uber Eats. Now this one comes as a $15 monthly credit in the form of Uber cash directly to your Uber account every month. And to round things off, you'll receive a $20 Uber Cash credit in December. Now we're already up to $600 in available credits and we're not even halfway done yet. Let's keep going. For the travelers out there, that's you by the way, you'll receive a $100 Global Entry or TSA PreCheck credit every five years. Now, Global Entry just announced their fee will increase to $125 soon, but as of right now, Amex has not stated if they'll also increase this credit to fully cover the charge. Just letting you know. Anyway, to complement that, you'll also receive a $189 clear credit to use to skip the TSA line or wait a little longer at eligible airports. Put it like this, whichever line is faster, you can be fully covered for both. All right, rapid fire time. $155 Walmart Plus credit. This will cover your monthly Walmart Plus subscription fee. $240 digital entertainment credit of $20 per month towards select streaming services like Disney Plus, Hulu, Peacock, or the New York Times. A $300 Equinox credit, which can be used with the Equinox Plus app or the gym membership. And $100 a year in Saks Fifth Avenue credits paid out as $50 for the first half of the year and $50 for the second half of the year. And last Lastly, do not forget your Amex offers. Not gonna lie, I do find value via the Amex offers on my gold card, so I'd expect the same here. 
Although I cannot provide any examples as these offers are very dynamic, being that they change and update almost daily. Just as I mentioned earlier, this is where my customer service slash lifestyle comment comes into play. All these incentives and credits will have you treated like a luxury card holder, and that carries value. But you do need to do some work to get that value, and preferably, it's not work outside of your already established lifestyle and spending habits. Remember, I'm not here to tell you which benefits are truly valuable for you. That's up to you. I just want to educate you on your options, and if you want more help on picking the right card, check out this video. Final stretch, the insurances and warranties. As a travel card, of course this comes with travel insurance, but you need to read the fine print to ensure you're fully covered. Let me explain. Trip cancellation and eruption protections, yes, this card has them, but they'll have to be prepaid or fully booked on the platinum card. This is important as it means no split payments, something I do regularly. The trip itinerary must be fully paid for on the card. I actually called Amex and IAG insurance company to confirm this for you as this could be a deal breaker for some. Here's an example, story time. I book a cruise trip or full all-inclusive vacation package and for the down payment, I use a different card I'm working on a welcome bonus on or one that has a $300 travel credit. Then later, I pay the remaining balance with my platinum card. Because that trip or full itinerary was not fully paid for on the platinum card, I could be denied the travel insurance coverage. This also applies to rental cars. Must be fully booked on the platinum card for your coverage. You're not allowed to split payment with your Amex points either. So if you have a reservation where you need to put a small deposit and pay the rest later, make sure you use your platinum card for both. Also, the Platinum Card only offers secondary rental car coverage, which kicks in after you've exhausted your primary rental car insurance. In addition, regarding comprehensive medical or baggage coverage, the Platinum Card will only cover you, your immediate family, supplementary Platinum members, and their immediate family as well on the itinerary. So if you're booking a trip for you and your friend, and you want to put everything on your card because you want the points, be aware as I'm used to cards and perks that will cover my companions on the itinerary. Now, I'm not saying all this to turn you away. If these coverages are important to you, like they are for me, then you need to know this as it could determine how you pay or which card you use to pay for your trips. I know in advance not to use any split bookings or friends trips with this card, if I want the coverage. Outside of that, the other protections are pretty straightforward. Purchase protection against theft and damage within 90 days and up to $10,000. Extended warranty, also up to $10,000 on appliances. Return protection up to $1,000 within 90 days as well. I know, I think I will call Chad. Let's see if he's available. Hey, what's Chad, up? Chad, what's going on, man? Nothing much, what's going on with you? Oh, you know, just sitting here, making another video for the community about, and this time it's about the American Express Platinum card and the thought process of everything you need to know before you apply for the card. Now, I know you already have the card, so I thought you'd be a perfect person to call. Well, so, let me see what I can do to help you out. Yeah. So if you don't mind, I just got a couple of quick questions for you. Um, mm -hmm. The first one would be, how do you personally use the card? Well, by virtue of my job, I do a lot of consulting across the country, so I mainly use it for travel. To be honest with you, I actually barely slide it unless there's a great Amex offer. But for the most part, it's just buying plane tickets for me. Speaking of that, you say travel for work. Are you using it for your corporate travel or also for personal travel? Actually both. So when I do my points redemptions and I have to pay taxes and fees, you still get the 5x, so there's no reason not to maximize those because I don't like leaving any money on the table. Fully understand that. What are some of your favorite hacks or tips about or around the card? Well, with the Platinum card, I mean, because it has so many benefits, a lot of the times the stuff that I use it for is actually available to everyone so they're kind of not hacks per se but one thing i did do i just recently bought a car but one thing i was going to use was the amex purchase car purchase program that's actually partnered with true car to get you a true price of a car if you want to buy it and then with the true car partner dealerships they will actually take a minimum of two thousand dollars up to the full price of a car 
on your card if you have it you can secure those points even from dealerships that normally do not take credit cards yeah i don't think a lot of people are thinking about using their cards as down payments or use them to buy a actual car um yeah a lot of the times you can get a whole used car and if you have half if you you know because here's the thing with the amex card is that even though it's a charge card, they do have a charge uh, credit card component, and some people may want to use that and pay that. And then in addition to that, a lot of dealerships, especially larger ones, don't accept credit cards because they're afraid of chargebacks. So people will use the, the same protections on the card that we love so much, they'll use them to game the system and try to get a free car out of them. And it's just mayhem on a car dealer. But with this, you go through the proper channels, you get to pocket some points, you get a no haggle price, and good to go not to be one of the nefarious people but i've always put the down payments of a car on a credit card i actually tell them like if i can't put it on a credit card i'm not buying the car and then they usually change their tune <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the way to do it right, that's the I, way to do no it reason, there's no reason why you can't benefit man. why leave those points out exactly uh last quick question anything you don't like or would you prefer to change about this card you know, one thing I don't like and which I don't even understand is why this car does not have primary car insurance coverage for the amount of money that I pay. Now, mind you, I barely, I rarely rent cars, but I just think that this is something that should just be there. I, I mean, if the built car can have it and that's no annual fee, <laughs> you know what I mean? $95 CSP can have it. $695, I mean, I, I, I'm okay with you taking my Equinox away. You know what I mean? But mm -hmm. primary car, the CDW, it should be there. That That's one thing I don't care for at all. I was just speaking about that myself and I can totally agree. Now, that was very helpful. Now, one of the things that I like to do on this before you apply style oh, video it's what I call the 1030, where you give me 10 hot takes within 30 seconds. You think you can do it? Okay. Are you ready? Let's give, let's give it a go. All right. And if you're ready, I'm going to throw a timer up on screen and go. Firstly, the Platinum card, they're not charging enough for it. That card's easily worth $1,000. Second, I would pay said $1,000. The annual fee user cards, I'm happy that they raised the price on those because it makes my lounge access much better. This card definitely needs CDW. There's no reason why no annual fee cards and $95 cards have it, and this card doesn't. They really do need to expand the travel benefits for a dedicated travel card because its counterparts have way better travel benefits. The other thing is that this card, it it needs a higher barrier to entry. You got to get it up there because it's harder to get a CSR and a Venture X than it is to get this card. Another issue is that this card should take a note out of the CS CSR's book and actually give you expanded cash redemption value instead of 0.7 because it's a $695 card. The next thing is this card should have a clear path, a very clear path to the black card. I know it's exclusive, but oh well just deal with it now final two penumbral change that i would like to see is that this card actually should separate once again from its variants for the separate products that it was before so that we could get some subs and the last one is this card should not have lifetime language Ooh, did i lose them i think i may have just hung up on chat Oh well, I'll call him back. I know that was a little over 30 seconds, but I'm not mad at it. I left the link to Chad's channel down below. Go check him out and tell him Lonnie sent you, okay? So all in all, is this a premium travel card? Absolutely yes, but with some asterisks. There's definitely some good, but also some make sure you know. More importantly, who is this card for? And is it a card for you? Well, if you're a person who regularly or occasionally pays for flights, and or really appreciates good customer service, luxury travel experiences and options, then yeah, 
this is for you. Or if you're already invested into the Amex ecosystem of products and partners. But if high annual fees are a turnoff, the only one of few cars that can earn you lots of points, then make sure to do your research. For me, I think I had the answer I was looking for, but I'll break that down in a future video. And if you wanna compare this card with another premium travel card, check this video out. And here's the one that I mentioned earlier. Catch you in the next one. Peace.